Hello, I'm Eric Singer, Gazette.com with Switchbacks FC, your definitive source for everything that is the Colorado Springs Switchbacks. The regular season is over, and now let the playoffs play on. Roland Vargas is with head coach Steve Trichu to talk about it. Roland? Thanks, Eric. Coach, difficult 1-0 loss against L.A., but the fan support for that game was great, almost a playoff-like atmosphere. Oh, it wasn't. That's what, you know, I told the players that before the game. Um, I just didn't feel in the first half we played quick enough, and they were able to get behind the ball, and then when we went up a man, they did the same thing. So it was very hard for us to break them down. You know, we were all over their goal, just, just not in the goal. So we just got to look at the, our playoff game uh, on Friday and take, take it from there. As you said, Seattle Sounders, too, coming up this Friday. You've played them twice this yeah. season, one draw, one loss. Mm -hmm. You guys really need the win now, obviously. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the, the games that we played against them, the 1-1 the draw here, we had a great first half. And, uh, and I just thought if we could have put our foot on the pedal in that second half, we would have taken it to them. But we let up a little bit. They got back in the game, tied the game. And same thing in, in, in Seattle. You know, we, we went up in the, in the game and had a gr another great first half. But then the heat, I think, you know, got to us a little bit. The turf there got to us a little bit. So, you know, that game ended up losing. We, we lost 3-2, to two, but we were still in the game. So, you know, they're, they're a strong team. They have a lot of players that have played first team action. So, uh, you know, we're not really sure who's going to be here on Friday, but, but we're going to prepare for us, prepare for everybody and then, uh, you know, play our game. You know, high pace, high pace, fast pace, speed of play is quick, um, and defending well. So, you know, we got to use it. This time, we really have to use the altitude to our, to our advantage, especially in the first half, and make them chase, make them run, and then hopefully in the second half, we can just keep going and take it to them. You said you weren't not exactly sure who the Sounders, too, are going to bring down. Mata, Samuel, a couple players who have hurt you. Who else might you be looking out for from their roster? Well, obviously, they have Anderson up top. He's, he's very, very fast, and uh, we prepared for him. And we actually played well against him when he's, when he's played against us. And, uh, you know, they have Jones on one side, Kovar on the other side. And so, you know, they, they have three main attacking players, and like you said, Mata comes out of, out of the middle. So, you know, we've got to be prepared to be able to defend well. But we, I think we can attack against these guys. Uh, their, defense is, their defense is solid, but we, we can break them down, which we have in the past. And so, we, like I said, we have to play our game, but we have to p pick up the pace a little bit more. How excited are you for the home support for a playoff game at Sand Creek Stadium? Yeah, it's great. I mean, the, the, the fans the other night were loud. They were into the game. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we just couldn't get a win for them there. But I'm hoping they come back out on Friday at 7 o'clock at Sand Creek and, and give us that support, but even be louder. Coach, thank you so much. Good luck yeah. on Friday against Thanks. Seattle Sounders FC2. Eric, back to you. Thanks, Roland. And a quick reminder about the playoff game Friday, September 25th. The Switchbacks home game against the Seattle Sounders 2. It's at 7 p.m. at Sand Creek Stadium. Show up and be a part of a loud crowd of supporters. Go Switchbacks! For Roland Vargas, I'm Eric Singer, and thanks for watching Switchbacks FC.